you all. Welcome back to Cozy Beach Jota. My name is Natalia, and today we're going to do a first look at the Spirit Tea demo. Why am I excited about this? Because it's been compared to having a Stardew and Spirited Away influence. So that's why the game looks the way it does and why the storyline is supposed to be what it is. I'm really excited because it's pixelated. Stardew is one of my favorite games out there. Spirited Away was one of my favorite movies as a kid. So I'm super excited to see the game's take on Spirited Away and how they incorporate it into their storyline and what the game is all about. So let's get into it. Okay, so here we are. I'm using controller for this. We're gonna see if it looks good and if it runs well. Mainly my concern is I was like playing around with the controller not too long ago and it seemed like the buttons were a little backwards or something. So let's figure it out. Like if I click B, that's how I do new game versus if I clicked A. And I'm using an Xbox controller. So we'll see if, if it feels weird. Okay, I can see the, the Stardew-esque feel to it. Welcome. What stop will you be getting off at? Ooh, a town name. Mm, I've done... I did Estrella for Animal Crossing. I did Luna for Stardew... Ooh, let's do Sol. See, it's backwards. I have to... Oh. Okay. Sol, huh? This bus indeed stops there, but you're in for a long ride. You'd best get comfortable. Haha. -ha. Ooh. Uh. Okay. So that... Do we have curls? Oh, we don't. I guess this would be the closest. I like the green. I like the light pink. I think I'm deaf feeling more of the sweatshirt vibe. great because it matches the okay skin tone mm. guess I'm more this one fantasy author I can go with that All right, then take a seat and let's let everybody else on the bus now. Oh, look at the view. This is really cute. This is really, really cute. Spirit tea!
this is one long bus ride for an intro. Ah, you must be Nati. I'm glad you made it in one piece. I suppose proper introductions are in order. My name is Miko. I believe we spoke on the phone the other day. Welcome to Seoul. It's really quite lovely here. I do hope you'll enjoy the time you spend here. We received all of your luggage earlier today. I had my husband, Quill, help me get it safely to the house you'll be staying in. I'm afraid I may have sullied his first impression of you, as I had him carry the heavy things. Speaking of, let me quit yapping and show you to your house. This way, please. Well, what do you think? I mean, it looks fine to me. I'm just teasing you. This is my home. Just remember the red roof if you ever need to see either myself or Quill. This here is my husband's bicycle shop. You might find it convenient to have a bicycle if you ever want to explore the nearby area. At the very least, a little exercise does the body some good. As you can see, this is pretty much the extent of our downtown here in Seoul. I'm sure it's nothing like the big city you've just come from, but we've got everything we need. There's a restaurant if you're tired of cooking at home, a karaoke bar, a chicken restaurant, coffee shop, and Kenzo runs a convenience store a little way southeast of here. I could talk your ear off about all of the residents here and how kind they all are, but Quill did warn me that you've had a long trip and to... Uh-huh. Keep your yapping to a minimum and let the newbie sleep. So let's get you home. Okay, so we're downwards. Is that my home? And here we are. I do hope it meets all of your needs. The pictures I posted online were taken just last week, so it should all be accurate. Oh, one thing you might find different is that we tend to leave our doors unlocked. We don't usually have any crime here, though there have been strange occurrences lately. And well, there aren't that many of us living in town. What I'm trying and failing to say is that Seoul is very safe and that I sincerely hope you enjoy this slice of the countryside. Feel free to visit your neighbors where and whenever you please. I know they'll be happy to get to know you. Then I'll leave you to it. I set up your futon this morning and you should have everything you need. I saw you had an old teapot in the, in the cupboard. Maybe you can try out some of the locally grown tea. Okay, I'm leaving now because even I can tell I've nattered on for too long. Good night. Not leaving the door open. I don't care how nice everybody is. That is sketch. Which movement controls do you prefer? Oh, because this is like very catered towards the computer. You can view and change the controls at any time in the options menu. Okay. So opening it was with Y. Oh, okay. Got a little fridge, a little kitchen area. It's been a long day. Interact with the bed to go to sleep. The game is saved every time you sleep. A little futon. How do I? Oh, there we go. Is it just me or does that sound super scary? Ah, you must be Nati. Don't look so surprised. Miko has already told me all about you. 
She's not really one to keep gossip to herself. Anyway, I'm Amelia, the other town granny. It's a pleasure to meet you. I came by because I wanted to welcome you to our little town and drop off a few things. First off, in case you're hungry. How oh, sweet. You got the rice ball. That rice ball is from an old family recipe called rice ball from the convenience store. You can eat that delicious morsel by pressing L shift, which is great for restoring stamina. But why don't you set that down on that table there for now? Because I've got something else for you. Wonderful. Now this here is from Miko. You got the mixed vegetables, egg and rice. She forgot to give it to you last night. You don't have to eat it now if you don't want to. Why don't you throw it in that backpack of yours? But wait, that's not all. I saw someone say that on the television I was just trying to... Trying to be flashy. I brought you a brochure of activities that you can do around Seoul. It comes with a map too. Which I'm sure you'll find useful. Ooh. And with all of that, you should be good to go. But, uh... You're a writer, correct? It doesn't look like you've got a place to sit and work. I wonder if we might have something in storage over at the shop. It's my daughter's store. But I help out every now and then. Why don't we head over there and see if she's got an old desk that you could use. All of this is just so exciting. You'll understand when you're an old fart like me. The shop is nice and close to your new home. Just walk a little ways east and you're there. Let's go. Couple more things. You can open and close your backpack by pressing F. You can take things out of your open backpack by pressing E. Lastly, you can get around quicker by holding down L shift to run. Okay, so I switched over to keyboard. So I was having a little bit of trouble with the controller. Oh, here's the shop. I think I hear a song busy upstairs. Actually, I was supposed to be watching over the shop when I snuck over to your place. Let me go ask her if she's got a desk that you could use. Hey, you must be the newbie in town. I'm Moby. I run a coffee shop a little northwest of here. Mmm, okay. Feel free to stop by your caffeine-fueled needs. Nathi, it seems like we've got a desk for you here. Oh, Moby, could you help Nati out and bring it over to their place? Yeah, sure thing. Thank you, dear. I'd better get back to running the shop, Nati, and don't worry about the desk. I'm just happy to see it be off to use to someone. <gasps> Phew, what a workout. Where do you want this thing? Unless, of course, you like it sitting in the middle of your room. Move it to wherever you want using your house organizer. It's over there between your front doors. Oh, this one? Oh. Okay. Let's see if... Can I not... Move you around a bit? Like, I don't mind it right here. Just kind of wanted to know. All set. Perf. Did you see that? You did? Thank the gods. I thought I was losing it for a second there. Listen, Nathi. I'm not sure if anyone has mentioned this to you, but Sol kind of feels haunted at times. Like Sujin was telling me the other day that she's been hearing some strange noises outside of her boat at nighttime. And in my own apartment, I've got these like weird plants growing around my bathtub. How do you reply? 
just go with it. Right? I mean, I clean this tub all the time. Weird things shouldn't be growing out of it. There we go. I can't assume. Anyway, your food was just floating and then disappeared in front of us. It's like this place is... He's on the floor. Wait, don't open it. It might be trying to bring its friends. What if it's just someone normal? Or wait, it could be trying to get out. Quickly open it. <laughs> Sorry to intrude. My name is Young. I run the temple at the southern tip of town. I wanted to be one of the first to welcome you to Seoul. I hope that... Moby, are you unwell? Young, so good to see you, buddy. All is well over here. How very curious. Anyway, Nathi, you likely haven't had much of a chance to explore the town and meet everyone just yet, have you? I had a word with my associate, Jan, this morning, and she's agreed to help you find and meet all of the locals. Jan? You mean the old, she's a wonderful companion, and I think the two of you will get along swimmingly. She's waiting for you just outside, whenever you're ready. Uh, okay, then. I guess I'll leave you to it, Nathi. Be careful not to let Jan bite you. Don't worry about that. She's very kind. Enjoy your day. I will stop by later to pick up Jan once you're familiarized yourself with the town. She doesn't like to be away from her brother, Maru, for long. The game has just been saved. Ordinarily, the game will only save when you sleep. Introduce yourself to everyone in town. You can ask Jan to help you if you're having trouble finding someone. I guess there are 27 people? Is that a pup? Is Jan a dog? Oh, got Amelia, Bruce, Clarence, Eric, Faye, Gail. I like Gail's hair. Jan is a dog. Jillian, Julian, Kenzo, Kim. Kenzo's kind of cute. Lee or Lei? Lee? Ling? Maru? Oh, okay. Miko? Moby? Will? Radish? Song? Sora? Sujin? Tara? Tifa? Toby? Yari? Young? Yumi? That's everyone. Okay. I just follow you. Oh, did I kick someone random? Okay. Sujin. Oh, hey, I'm Sujin. You must be the newbie in town. Oh, who is this beautiful beast I see? I'm Tara. I live at the pension down by the southeastern beach. Uh-oh, you must be the new person in town. I'm Asora. Pleased to meet you. I went in here. Oh, guess not. Oh, I can meet her husband. Ah, so you're the one Mika was talking about. Hmm, welcome and all that. Okay, I guess that was the extent of it. This game is really cute. Hmm, who are you supposed to be? I'm Julian. What's it to you? Road. I don't know if I'm going to like this one. There we go. Jillian, are you new around here? I don't think I've met you before. My name's Jillian. Pleased to meet you. The only thing is, like, the... The... Uh, what is it? 
Ah, the text is like cut off. I have to like take a second. Oh, wait, no. Let me see if there's anything else here in town. This is all closed off. Is everyone? Goodness. Wasn't this? Miko. I'm pleased that Amelia is able to see her grandson so often. We haven't had a visit with our grandchildren for some time now. Pero donde está toda la gente? Is everyone just really active and hiding? You must be Nati. I'm Faye, the local carpenter, blacksmith, all-rounder. It's good to know. Oh, I like her home. Oh, is this the one that I was like, hmm? Mm. Kenzo. New to town, huh? I'm Kenzo. I work only at the convenience store in town. I'm sure I'll see you during your snack runs. Cute, cute. I think Moby owning a coffee shop might be it for me. Hey, you just moved into that place by the water. Oh, I'm Eric. Hey, Eric. No one else up here? Nope. Ugh, I only have 16 out of 27 people. I could use the dog to help me. You must be the new kid in town. I'm Song, and this little mister here is Momo. Oh, stairs over here. Okay, no one's up here. I like the cushions. Didn't even see you. Who is this free spirit wandering into our little town? Not the is it then? I'll be Lee. I'm assuming that's how you pronounce the name, but I'll probably have to look it up. Oh, puppers. Okay. Hi, so you're the new face in town, huh? I'm Tiffa. I take care of the tea fields here in town. Oh, come see me tomorrow. I'll give you a free sample. Imagine no one's over here and I just did all of this for nothing. Literally, though. Okay. Uh, fine. Townsfolk. Let's do... Oh, you're a new face in town. Hey, I'm Bruce. <laughs> He's having a moment over there. Hey, I'm Toby. I don't think we've met before. Okay, I've got five more people. Literally just, oh, it just looks dark, but they're not actually chilling in the dark. You must be the new resident in town. It's a pleasure to finally meet you. My name is Clarence.
Oh, there's someone over there. Okay. Hi, I don't think we've met. I'm Kim. Then I've only got, let's see. There'll be two people, right? Because this will be 25. Hi, you must be Nati. The whole town is talking about you. Oh, I'm Yumi. She's cute. I like her outfit. Oh, there you are. Hmm, you're the new face in town, huh? My name's Ling. Be seeing you around. Oh, Jan. <laughs> I cannot with you. I like your room, though. Hey, I'm Gail. I work at the karaoke bar in town. You look like you both had a long day. I hope your first impression of our little town has been a good one. Oh, that reminds me. Tiffa wanted me to tell you to pick up some tea leaves from, from her tomorrow. Anyway, stop by the temple anytime. Jan, Moro, and I all enjoy visitors, and our doors are always open. Come on, Jan. Good night, Nati. Bye, Jan. Sure. This is a lot bigger than I thought. Ah, there you are. As promised, here. Bring the tea leaves home and make some tea using the old teapot. Okay. You got the fresh tea leaves. Many objects can be picked up, carried, and dropped using E when facing an object to pick it up. Press it again to pull it up. down. If an item can be eaten, used, or has some sort of function, you can perform the action by pressing L shift. Remember, if you have space in your backpack, you can store carried objects by pressing C. Oh, so then I just go straight to pressing C. Oh, and then to open it, I press F. Get in there. Get in there. Okay, let's go home and make some tea. Where's my teapot? Place the tea leaves in the teapot by facing the teapot and interacting with it while holding the tea leaves. So I need to open, right? I'm gonna open. We're going to click E. There we go. Shift would be to E. Oh. You added tea leaves and water to the teapot. It seems to be heating up supernaturally. Sure. You drank the spirit tea. Am I gonna trip or something? Stupid feeble creatures, so selfish. Leaving. Wait, can you see me? You can't. You can, can't you? This, this is, I'm supposed to be guiding. <gasps> How long was I? I can't believe that even I became lost. Me? You'd never let me live this one down. Wait, who the heck are you? How do you reply? <laughs> Let's just say I'm not the... Anyway, it doesn't matter. We've got problems. We? Yes, we. You live here now, don't you? This town is crawling with troublemaking spirits. They're what's called lost because humans have stopped worshipping, leaving offerings or even thinking about them anymore. Fortunately, I'm not as weak as those other fools, though I nearly lost control. Anyway, you can call me Wanyan, and since you appear to be somewhat spiritual, you're going to help me get things under control. Me around here? What's with that look? You didn't come here to mess about with spirits. I get it. You mortals live short lives and fill each day with things that bring you happiness. The truth is, I... No. We need you. Damn it. Are you really going to make me beg? There are already so many lost spirits who don't even remember who they were. They need your help. You'd be like a hero to them. Immortals like being called heroes, don't you? Fine, I'll help you. That's more like it. I think I have a plan that just might work. But first, you need to see something. Let's head up the mountain. Look for the stairs at the eastern part of town. In the mountain, there should be stairs on the east side of town.
Oh, there we go. This is well used to be a bathhouse for spirits. They would come from far and wide to enjoy the purifying waters of the mountain. Spiritual people such as yourself used to look after the spirits and run the bathhouse. But it's not all for charity. The spirits would, would in turn offer some of the wealth they received from their shrines throughout the world. But as you can see, the bathhouse has been abandoned. The last bathhouse keeper was a spunky girl. In fact, she used to live in the house we've just moved into. Though I don't know how long she's been gone. The spirits need you to become the next keeper of the bathhouse. Otherwise, they'll become more and more lost and cause more and more havoc to the people of Seoul. I don't, don't kid yourself. I didn't have to be you. Don't kid yourself. It didn't have to be you. Anyone with the lick of spirituality would have done. But you did come and you can help everyone, spirits and people alike. So you're in then. Good. Glad we're all on the same team. Then if we're meaning to get this place up and running, we'll need to first open her up. If I'm not mistaken, I left the key with the spirit who has a fondness for sweets. Find the spirit and we'll find the key. Though whether or not you'll be able to see the spirit is questionable. But we can deal with that later. For now, let's head to the place with a lot of sweet foods. Hmm, this place looks promising. Try using your spirit vision now. Okay. Hey, not bad, mortal. You seem to be figuring it out pretty quickly. Yeah, now then. Let's find the spirit. Right here. No, no, not that one. I haven't tried the one with the caramel yet. Oh, that one is so good. Hey, check out this mortal. They're almost... They almost look like they're watching. I knew I'd be able to find you. If uh, I thought with my stomach like you always do. It's the fuzz. Let's cheese it. <laughs> what in the world? Don't just stand there. Catch them. I'll use what little power I have to help you keep your spirit vision active so you can see them. Normally using spirit causes, spirit vision causes your spirit gauge on the right to gradually decrease. However, in this case, Wanyan is helping you by preventing the gauge from depleting. Under normal circumstances, drinking spirit tea, tea made in the old teapot, can, and sleeping will apprentice the spirit. All right, but I don't know where I'm supposed to go. The spirit is super quick. Try running to catch the spirit. Remember, you can run by holding. I know. Catch the spirit by interacting with it once you're close enough. We are going to have a hard time over here. <gasps> I totally clicked. What are you doing, you lunatics? We just want to talk to you. You better hope we don't catch you now. You've gone and ticked me off. Okay. Run, Nati. Ugh. Man. Got it. Fun time's over, clown car. <laughs> Revert back now. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with you two? What? Who? What? Yan? And which one of you, Peanut Brains, has the key to the bathhouse? Key, the key. I remember Wanyan and a key. <laughs> One of you better start talking. <laughs> I have the key. I remember now. I'm called Batherog. A and I was known as Horum. Wanyan. Oh, I'm sorry I failed you, my lord. It seems I forgot who I was, but I never forgot your task for me. I have kept the key safe all these years. Here, you must be the new keeper of the baths. You got the bathhouse key. What? Why are you holding it up uh, like that? Can't everyone act normal for just a moment, please? 
As for you two, this mortal here, named Nathi, correct, has agreed to get the bathhouse up and running again. I expect to see much of you and your kind there regularly. Yes, of course, Wanyan, sir. We'll be there. With friends. With friends, of course. Gods be damned. <laughs> These fools gave us the runaround, didn't they? Well, whenever you're ready, let's head to the bathhouse on the mountain and see what condition she's in. Okay. I personally don't condone speaking like that. Just reading the text that's there. Oh my goodness. Sniff. Ha, ah, yes. This brings back memories. You have no idea how important this place is, Nati. The spirits around here are in bad shape. You probably can't see most of them just yet, but believe me when I say they're up to no good. And unfortunately, it's the townsfolk who are suffering for it. Right, so with those happy thoughts in mind, how about we start doing something about it? First things first, follow me. Welcome to the bathhouse. It was built centuries ago and has served as a sanctuary for spirits ever since. One thing you've probably noticed is that you can see me without even using your spirit vision. It's not entirely known why spirits can be seen here, but it likely has something to do with the very rare trees, the very rare tree that was planted in the courtyard of this structure. Over time, the tree grew to enormous proportions and has exerted its special properties and has exerted its special properties upon the building. Anyway, enough of the history lesson. You're here to keep the bathhouse running smoothly and to guide our essentially customers to their spots in the baths. Spirits will pay you depending on their ba their bathing experience, which can be affected by many things, including follow me. Follow. Like don't walk into the wall. Including water temperature. This is the boiler for all of the baths in the ha in the room above us. We have to keep this thing burning so the baths can stay hot. Your source of fuel for this baby is right here. Cut a chunk of this tree root for fuel. Hold E when facing the saw to cut. Okay. And voila! The tree magically regrows its root. I'm sure the tree doesn't like you doing this, but bath house keepers have cut this same root over and over for centuries, and this is just a hunch, but it seems like the tree is doing just fine. Uh, one thing to note is that this root's ability to regrow depends on the spiritual presence of this whole area. What I mean is the more spirits we track down and smack sense into, the more healthy the spirit tree becomes which means more roots regrowing and therefore more mulags. If you don't see the root regrowing, then you'll probably have to wait. I'm sure it'll be growing again after you've slept or something. Anyway, throw that log and one more into the boiler and then come meet me upstairs. Let's go upstairs. Good work. I'm glad to see you can follow simple instructions. With your work ethic in my brains, we can have this place running in no time. And making lots and lots of mulags. Anyway, do you see this shrine here? It shows you the bath temperatures. If you see the temperature dropping, then you better head to the boiler and load it up some more. Good. Now it's almost time to ring the bell and let the spirits in. But first we need to make sure we've got some clean towels to let the spirits use. Spirits needs towels. Spirits need, of course, they need towels. What kind of a shoddy bathhouse are you planning on running here? Come on, let's see if there are any towels still. If we're lucky, they won't be too moldy. This piss needs some, like, TLC. Check that towel box for dirty use towels. When spirits are done with their baths, they will leave their towels in the box on their way out. 
the door. As you might have guessed, use the while facing the towel bin to check for towels. Pero, ¿cuál es la cajita de aquí? Oh, good, there are some towels left. Let's go get them cleaned up this way. Okay, so towels in the front, they leave them there. And then walk to the left. Welcome to the washing or er, kitchen. I suppose we never did come up with a name for it. Let's just call it the prep room. As you can see, things here have also become quite overgrown and unusable. Fortunately, that's not the case for the wash tub and heating vents. Throw the used towels into the wash tub and give them a good scrub by holding down E. Washing until you've cleaned it at least four of them. Two, three, four. Excellent. Now take those wet towels and start hanging them over the heating vent. Remember, towels will only dry if you've got warm air flowing through the vent. If you're not burning any wood in the boiler, then the towels won't dry. Yet another reason to keep the boiler topped up. The towels will take some time to dry, so it's important to be as efficient as possible. There are always things you can be doing while running the bathhouse. Keeping the boiler hot, cleaning towels, cooking for spirits when, you're, when you've hired someone to clean this area up, scrubbing spirits with a brush. All of these things will affect a spirit's happiness and therefore affect how many moolahs they will leave you in things. Piece of cake, right? Right. Oh, come on. A little hard work is good for you. Builds character. Right. Let's bring those dry towels to the bathhouse entrance. I mean, you. You bring the towels. Demanding little cat. Are they dry? No visible mold? Perfect. Drop them over on this green bamboo mat. When spirits visit the bathhouse, they will automatically grab a towel from this bamboo towel. So, make sure you do your best to always have some fresh towels for the spirits to use. All right, I think we're ready. Ring this bell to open the bathhouse up for two spirits. So much reading. I'm scared. We've got two. Right on time. You've got your first guest. Take their towel from them and lead them to our only bath that is currently ready. One thing to keep in mind, if you ever don't want to see a particular spirit, you can always bring the towel back to the entrance the spirit will leave on their own. I don't recommend doing this often, though. Not if you want to make moologs, anyway. But there will be times when a spirit is too large for your baths or might ruin the bathing experience you've created. Those cases, just give them the boot and they'll come back later. Anyway, grab the spirit's towel and seat them in the bath. Chop, chop. And that's just about all there is to it. You can tell a spirit's mood when standing near them. A happy face means their happiness is improving, whereas an angry face means their happiness is on the decline. Once you've seated a spirit in a bath, they're in there for the duration of their stay. This means if you place a spirit next to a spirit they dislike, then you won't be making as much money as you could be. You could remedy this by making an extra effort to improve that spirit's mood. Back scrubbing, giving food, adding elixirs to the water, or if you're busy, you can just accept the blunder and move on. The most important thing to know about running a spirit bathhouse is this. Spirits all belong to a particular season. Spirits enjoy sitting near spirits from the season after theirs. On the other hand, spirits dislike sitting near spirits whose season is opposite their own. Oh my goodness. Confused? Ugh, he would be. Must have a peanut fur brain. Okay, how about this? If I recall correctly, the two spirits we chased around the town were spring and fall spirits, so you probably don't want to sit them near each other. Figuring out which spirits belong to which season will take a bit of trial and error. Or wait, you might be able to consult the old spirit information tomes, but those have likely been buried for centuries. There's one other thing I should mention. Come here for a second. I noticed it when when the previous bathhouse keeper was taking care of the place. 
The ancient tree that grew out of the courtyard of this bathhouse seems to react to how pleased the spirits are when they leave after their bath. I've seen this tree root grow as more and more spirits have left after having a fulfilling bath. It's possible something important might happen when the root grows to a certain length. I don't know. I'm usually more focused on how much money the spirits leave us. Okay, I'll leave you to figure out things on your own. Ring the bell again if you want to close. The bathhouse. Spirits will still pay you, but not as much as if you let them enjoy their whole bath undisturbed. If you're tired, you can always go home and sleep, which saves the game, whatever that means. Oh, and don't forget to collect your earnings from the money pot by the front entrance when you're done working. You look like you could... I don't even know what you could be. So let's just... Um... Okay. They don't like to be with the same ones next to each other. But you don't have towels. I'm gonna have to get more towels. Okay, it looks like any more. Dude, I gotta move out of my way though, because I gotta pick up the towels. Y'all don't like sitting next to each other. Put you there. Just done for the day? I can't cut anything. What if I just walked out? Thank you for playing. So that was the demo to Spirit Tea. And I thoroughly enjoyed that. It's been a while since I've played a management restaurant style type game. The fact that in the game, the whole purpose is to manage a bathhouse is super, super fun. And it doesn't seem high stakes, at least in the demo, it didn't seem too high stakes. So I'm excited to see what the storyline is like, how it develops, what you can use your money towards, if I can decorate my home, how to interact with the NPCs. The graphics are gorgeous. This comes out on November 13th for both Steam and Nintendo Switch, and I've already wishlisted it on both. I will most likely be getting it for the Switch, however, because I've got a decent amount of games on my Steam Deck and I really want to give my Switch a try. I'm hoping it can manage the graphics. I know there have been a few games that have come out lately where they've been a little bit better on PC than they are on Switch. But that was the demo, and if you enjoyed it, definitely check out Spirit Tea. And from one bichota to another, stay cozy, and see you next time. Adios!